Today is the 7th of September and yesterday evening we were called upon by the vets appointed by uh, government um, to help in the release um, and rehabilitation of a number of finches. Um, we were called on to pick up these finches which uh, are basically juvenile um, green finches and also uh, juvenile goldfinches um, and these apparently are all from an operation, a police operation that was conducted on Gozo uh, with the assistance of WBRU um, where all these finches were found to have been uh, apparently smuggled uh, into the country uh, to be used as decoys, as live decoys for illegal bird trapping um, unfortunately some of the birds are in a very uh, bad condition um, some of the birds also arrived or have been dying uh, in the process while we're trying uh, to get to, to free them and now they will be um, taken uh, to be ringed and released um, as soon as possible so that they can continue their lives in the wild. These are the goldfinches crammed into little tiny cages um, in very poor condition as well um, and also we have uh, green finches um, young green finches um, which are also have been probably caught uh, from illegal trapping in Italy and then smuggled over to Malta uh, to be then sold um, amongst trappers um, and from, from different pet shops These birds are all finches, uh, belonging to five different species. Uh, we have serin, goldfinch, greenfinch, uh, linnet and chaffinch. And uh, all these birds um, were smuggled illegally into the country, possibly uh, having an origin from Italy. Most of the birds are in fact juvenile birds, which just hatched a few, uh, probably just a few months or a few weeks um, ago. Um, and they have been smuggled into the country. The reason why uh, these birds have been smuggled into the country is because since WBRU itself has, that has announced and has invited trappers to um, apply for a license for once again having a research derogation uh, despite the fact that uh, we have uh, an infringement case uh, with the European Union um, about this practice, about this derogation Obviously, um, the, the, the idea um, and also the prospect that trappers can go out and use uh, cleft nets to trap these finches creates a huge demand for decoy birds. So, uh, trappers can only, can only be able to trap birds of a similar kind if they have uh, decoy birds to attract the wild ones um, in, in the first place. So, this automatically creates a huge, huge demand uh, for decoy birds by local trappers and obviously there are people who are uh, involved in this illegal business who are obliged to this demand by importing um, uh, and smuggling in hundreds of these finches into the country luckily enough um, uh, the circumstances allowed for the police to be able to intercept one of these consignments so all these birds were basically destined um, to start making their way and being sold and distributed to trappers um, in order for them to have enough decoys and be able to, to get ready uh, for the season which probably will open around the 20th of October. Um, all these birds were uh, taken to the veterinarians, some of them unfortunately were in a very very bad state. Um, these birds were confined in tiny tiny cramped cages um, with very uh, poor conditions and um, probably even their smuggling uh, resulted in quite a lot of them dying. Um, so after they have been checked by the vets, they were handed over to BirdLife Malta um, to be able to rehabilitate and release these birds to the wild. Uh, these are all wild birds uh, that would be expected to start their migration from, from Europe to Africa uh, in the coming weeks. Um, so in order for us uh, to be able to, to, uh, to allow this to happen, um, we've, we've placed these birds in a huge aviary 
uh, with food, uh, supplements, vitamins, and all the all the likes that can help these birds um, get back to to uh, to strength and be able to finally stretch their wings after being crammed in tiny cages. Sometimes two, three birds in 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 a in a tiny cage. We we got them in this in this really poor state. Um, and now uh, after being able to feed, um, bait, and also supplement themselves and stretch up with their wings we will be allowing them uh, to go out uh, of this aviary and continue hopefully their migration down to Africa. Um, these birds are all European birds, uh, mostly probably have hatched uh, in Italy. Um, but then of course as the autumn period uh, arrives, these birds start their annual migration uh, down to Africa for the wintering period. And this is when we see most of these finches um, in Malta during October and November mostly um, and this is when unfortunately a lot of them get caged, get trapped and, and placed in cages where they lead a miserable life and finally most of them even die. All the birds um, as you can see have been fitted uh, with a bird scientific ring from, from the Bird Life Malta Ringing Scheme and this is standard practice for all rehabilitated birds uh, that we release back into the wild. This allows us to also get some traceability in case these birds um, uh, turn up in, in, in an African state or, or in a European country um, where it can also help us learn more about the migration and the movement of these birds.